Hi there, I'm Jacob. I'm here talking about Google Sites, which is the very appropriately named website building tool from Google. So Google Sites was envisioned and designed with ease of use and collaboration being of paramount importance. The drag and drop feature and comprehensive toolbar make it one of the easiest site builders. And with Google Sites share and edit options, collaborating on a site or wiki is just as easy as it is with uh, you know Google Docs or any type of spreadsheet from Google. I'm pulling up a sample site here that I built. Um, so like most other Google tools and applications, Google Sites is entirely free. For uh, teachers and other educators though, it might be the case that you or your school is signed up with Google's paid G Suite for Education, which Google Sites is a part of. So as I already mentioned above, I think Google Sites gets pretty good marks for its ease of use. I give it four stars out of five, only because it can sometimes be difficult to do anything to go beyond simple themes that Google provides. So I've got here these, um, these given themes that it um, provides for you. If you want to do anything a little more advanced than that, it can be tough. In terms of privacy, uh, things are a little bit harder to peg. So anyone can log into Google Sites and start creating. It's up to the user to decide how easily accessible or private they want their site to be. Additionally, Google Sites publishing and sharing settings are fairly comprehensive, allowing only a select chosen group of people you know, to be able to edit or view a certain site. So additionally, one can opt to remove their site from Google search settings. So because of this, because the fact that it's really up to the user to, um, to edit their own privacy settings, I'd give it a 3 or a 3.5 out of 5. Um, accessibility is another grade that's up for interpretation. So because all of the content on a Google site is curated by individuals, it's up to them to make their sites accessible. That being said, Google Sites Help Forum and FAQ section offers some pretty detailed tips and instructions on how to make your individual site as accessible as possible. So again, because it's up for interpretation, I'd give them about a four stars out of five for this criteria. Um, overall, I think Google Sites is a pretty versatile tool for any classroom. So check out the rest of my evaluation on the Online Tools for Teaching and Learning website for some ways that teachers have used Google Sites for classroom organization and even student assignments or projects. Thanks for watching.